Are you wondering how to do a nice cross dissolve and fade between scenes rather than just chopping between them like this? We're going to show you that in this video. It's super easy. So maybe you're cutting between your scenes like this at the minute and you're just thinking, I wish it would just do a nice soft transition. Maybe you watch somebody else's and it seems to just fade across. Let me show you. It's super simple, this one. Uh, in your preferences down here, open this up and uh, under the video tab, you've got default transition and it might be selected as no transition. Cross dissolve is the next option down. And let's just see if I jump back between them now. See, there's a nice cross dissolve. And Ecamm, don't just leave it there. Maybe you want a slow cross dissolve. We can do that a slower transition between the two. Or maybe that's not good enough and you want a slower cross dissolve. We can do that. <laughs> Super slow, soft dissolve between the two there. Now I find that way too slow personally, but maybe there's a reason why you would want to go through a slideshow of images or something and be able to do that. They're in there and uh, you can actually find, maybe you want to play with some of these other transitions as well. But do note that from the cross zoom one down. I believe you need to be on the pro plan to be able to access those, but um, there are some quite cool ones there if you like that. Just don't go too silly with it. I think you can get a bit caught up in this. The other thing you might want to do, I will just, I said it was going to be quick, didn't I? But I'm, I'm waffling. <laughs> There's always more that I can tell you. Uh, if we stick on our cross dissolve over here, what I can actually do, so this is our default. Maybe in one scene I decide I want it to do an extra slow fade, but only on that one scene. I can come up here to my options and I can tick transition and I can select my slower cross dissolve on this one, which means when it goes from this to another, we're in super slow. But in this scene, when I go from this one to another one, it's back to that standard one. So you can do individual ones. I personally would just leave it set on default and have one across your stream. But there you go. That's how you do nice little transitions. If you want to know how to automatically do transitions, we're going to make a video on that one just here. We'll see you in another video.